Here's the cube from the last exercise and we're now going to add some rounds. The cube would function very well as the corner piece of the construction kit but in order to make it more user friendly we want to add some rounds to the external corners of the cube and for this exercise we won't need the datum plane so I can turn those off in the top toolbar along with coordinate systems and 3D notes. So we're now ready to add some rounds. A round is a direct feature in that it doesn't rely on a sketch and can be found in the feature toolbar down on the right hand side of the screen. So we activate the round feature the round dashboard opens across the top of the screen and it's going to store the edges that we select in the sets tab here. So we're going to have one set with a certain radius and the references or the edges that you select will be stored here. So we can roll that back up and select the first edge. The moment it's offering us a half a millimeter radius we can drag the drag handles to create the five millimeter radius we require or we can change it in the dashboard at the top of the screen. What's very important is to add edges to the selection. We must hold control down on the keyboard so holding down control I can select additional edges on the cube. Now it is possible to see edges through the cube in these three positions here but to help us with um, manipulation we'll rotate the cube. So releasing control on the keyboard I can now rotate the cube until I can see the three edges at the back. So releasing the middle mouse button from the drag, hold down control and then left mouse click to select the final three edges. I'm happy with that and we'll just check to see where they're stored. So it's one set a five millimeter radius and the six edges are listed here under references. So happy with that, click on the green check mark to complete the feature and add it to the bottom of the model tree. And there we have the rounded cube. One further thing to do to make it easier to assemble the struts into these holes is to just put a small chamfer on these edges. Chamfer is another direct feature so it's in the direct features group in the list. Click on chamfer, select one of the edges. It's offering us the correct amount, we could change it here or by dragging the handles or in the dashboard. So half a millimeter is what we require. Hold down control on the keyboard to select the other two edges that are visible. Release control, rotate the model and then holding control down again add the final three edges to the selection. Green check mark completes the feature and we've now got our finished corner cube for our construction system. The chamfer is added at the bottom of the model tree. Make sure you save your work regularly and you're now ready to continue to the next task.